the total amount of land on Earth is about 150 million square kilometers. But considering that we must share it with 7.6 billion others, it comes out that nearly every kilometer is shared by 50 people. When you hear that, it doesn't seem like there's so much empty space after all. Most of the time, you'll see me in crowded places such as Singapore or Hong Kong where roughly 6,000 people share every kilometer. However, there are many places left in the world where you will find the complete opposite. I'm talking about endless miles of untouched land where nature is thriving and people are welcoming. <laughs> Amazing, man. Thank you. So where exactly in the world can you go if you want to escape the chaos? In this video, I'm gonna tell you five of the world's least densely populated countries, and we start with my favorite African nation called Namibia. Namibia is more than twice as large as California, but has just two and a half million residents. Welcome to Namibia! That means that only three people are living per square kilometer, and every inch of land there is incredible. I spent two weeks driving around Namibia and it was one of the best trips of my life. Windhoek is a super chill capital city with excellent beer and delicious food. Press. Press. The coastal city of Swakopum, which has strong German ties, ich heiße is certainly not to be missed. It's one of the only places on earth where you can see ocean waves crashing into huge sand dunes. And don't forget Itosha National Park up north, where you can get a taste of Africa's most incredible wildlife. And in that same area, you can find the Himba tribe, one of the most remote tribes in the world. Cold. What is it? Cold. <laughs> the second empty country that you need to put on your radar is Mongolia. Okay, so we are here in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. I'm standing in the main square. With just over 3 million people, a mere 2.04 of them occupy each square kilometer of this enormous landmass. Regrettably, I only had three days to spend in the capital of Ulaanbaatar and surrounding areas, but I know that the best thing to do in Mongolia is to venture deep into the Gobi Desert. There, you will find no shortage of national parks, open roads, amazing wildlife, and tiny monasteries. And the last thing that you have to experience in the land of Genghis Khan is the throat singers. Trust me on this one. <laughs> Staying in the Northern Hemisphere, we move over to the world's largest island called Greenland. Only 56,000 people live in this Danish territory, which comes out to 0.03 people per square kilometer. It's so empty because 80% of its surface is covered in ice. In fact, Greenland's ice sheet is so big that if it were to melt, sea levels around the world would rise by seven meters. Last summer, I went on an unforgettable cruise to Eastern Greenland and I've never seen nature quite like it. There were literally no people around us and that's because 95% of Greenland's residents are living on the Western coast around the capital of Nuuk. We took an expedition through the world's most remote national park until we arrived on a tiny settlement of 500 residents called Itotokormit. And here right behind me, we have uh, the local county jail that hasn't been used for six months, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Next, we head to the land down under, a country that all of you guys know about, and that is Australia. You might be surprised to see Australia on this list, but when you consider that 25 million people are living in a landmass about the size of the continental US, it kind of makes more sense. The math comes out to about 3.2 people per square kilometer. That's it. About 80% of Aussies live on or near the eastern coast, leaving behind the massive outback where you can travel thousands of kilometers without seeing a single person. If that doesn't make you want to visit the land down under, then I'm not sure what will. The fifth and final empty country that we will learn about today is on the northern shores of South America called Suriname. Good morning from Paramaribo. I went to this Dutch speaking nation for five days in 2016 and I was surprised to see that the majority of its 500,000 residents live in the capital of Paramaribo, a charming city with lots of diversity and character. That leaves behind a landmass the size of South Dakota with less than 200,000 people aka a paradise of greenery. I had the opportunity to go down to the Amazon which was such a special treat to witness this untouched nature. In all honesty, I enjoyed Suriname more than its neighbors and I recommend going there if you want to have a little different experience in South America. 
All right, guys, that is the end of the video of the most empty places on earth. I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun putting this together. Would love to hear from you. If you've ever been to these nations before, comment below your thoughts, your opinions, your suggestions, or simply just say hi. I want to know how you guys are doing during these rough days. I'm here stuck in my apartment just trying to pump out content while I'm not physically on the road. Hopefully that day will come sooner than later. I am itching to get out of here. But that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.